Hey guys, Michael with Quiet Lawn here. I uh, wanted to make a video just talking about some of the issues that we're going through. Uh, just like you guys uh, and everybody else, you know, business is smaller than ours, business is much bigger. Uh, we go through issues regularly. Uh, you know, it's uh, easy to look at Instagram or social media or, or you know, just look, at, it's easy to look at other people and think that uh, everything's perfect and that, uh, you know, they're not going through any issues. And, you know, even if you look at Mike Andes, who's much, 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 much bigger than most of us, uh, you know, he still goes through issues every day. But um, I wanted to start making some of these videos more regularly to talk about some of the problems we encounter. Um, so it's uh, J early July, it's July 5th. Uh, 2023. Uh, some of the stuff we've been dealing with uh, mainly has been uh, cash flow issues. If you remember our other videos at the beginning of, year, of the year, we invested a lot of money for this new shop location. Uh, I've put out probably $50,000 plus on this new location between fixing up this trailer and the carport and uh, shipping containers, uh, stuff like that, that we needed to get set up in a new location. Um, so, you know, I put all that out. I didn't finance any of that. It was cash out of our reserves. Um, so that kind of put us in a cash flow crunch and kind of the way our cash flow cycle goes is, uh, we get a lot of prepays in the early part of the year because we do our renewals, uh, at the beginning of the year, like January, February. So we have a lot of cash come in. Uh, but because we do annual contracts, like we spread the payments of everybody over the whole year, uh, we go negative with our cash flow during the summer because, you know, since we spread, we basically financed the cost of lawn care to our customers over the whole summer. We incur most of our cost in the, or over the whole year, we incur most of our cost in the summer. So in the summer months, it typically costs us more than what we're bringing in in those payments. Now we'll make that up in the early months and you know at the end of the year, um, but it definitely puts us in a cash flow crunch in the summer because you know let's say maybe we're bringing in thirty thousand dollars a month in the summer, but we might be spending thirty five or something like that. You know we're we're going negative, so it's important to have cash reserves to be able to sustain that and get through uh, those uh, you know those negative cash flow times. So typically we have you know we have our prepayments that helps with that. Um, but we spent a lot of that on this new shop. Also, what we do is in the springtime, we try to sell a lot of mulch work because mulch, you know, brings in a lot of cash. And that's typically, you know, doing like, like install work, like mulch work, uh, trimming shrubs, uh, stuff like that is how we get cash and kind of fill our coffers to help us, uh, you know, have enough of a reserve to get through the expensive summer months until we get back into the fall. Um, you know, this year, uh, a couple things. One, you know, we spent a lot on the shop, which we don't typically do. You know, it's not something we'll be spending again next spring. And two, uh, I told you in another video, we let, or one of our guys, Kevin, that uh, works with us, he's, he's a firefighter. Uh, he usually does all of our landscape work. So uh, he started going to school, so he's not working with us much anymore. So we stopped offering mulch work probably back in the beginning of May. So we missed out on a good probably thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars worth of mulch work because we just didn't have anybody to do it. Um so now we're trying to scramble, we're trying to go out, we're trying to do the door hangers for mulch and stuff like that. We're trying to get out and I'll show you those door hangers. We're trying to get out and try to recover some of that money uh that we missed. You know, a lot of people probably already got their mulch done, but not all of them. Um, but you know, that's an important thing for us is to be able to do that extra, extra work during the spring. So we'll be putting these out, you know, you know, with our mulch special that we're running to try to get some, uh, try to get some more cash flow in this summer, uh, so that we're not so struggling so much, uh, you know, going into fall and, uh, not anything terrible. We'll, we'll be fine. We've been in much worse financial situations, but uh, I don't like it when, you know, we start running low on our reserves. So, you know, we'll uh, we'll try to push hard through the summer. We'll try to sell extra work like this, like shrub trimming, palm trimming, and, uh, you know, try to get that to help us, you know, keep our cash flow positive until we get into Christmas light season and September, October, November, when we start collecting a lot of deposits and money, uh, you know, income from Christmas lights. But 
Um, that's the main thing going on with us. Uh, we also, uh, we've got a pretty good team, but we had to let one new person go this morning. He's been with us about six weeks and he's a super nice guy. He's got a good attitude. He's just not, he's just not picking up on the, the quality and the speed that he needs to be able to be successful with mowing. So, uh, unfortunately we had to part ways with him. Um, but we're pretty well staffed. Uh, we've got a, got a good team. Uh, we just hired a sales manager travis that's also helping us out in the field he's also doing quality inspections uh and stuff like that because we do have a we've had some drop in our quality uh this year so uh you know especially going into a bad recession that we're heading for and and the bad times that are coming it's very important to keep your customers happy so uh we brought uh travis in to really help with that you know to try to try to get our quality where it needs to be because uh, you know, if you guys were around, you know, 2008 to 2014, uh, all these people that are, are getting laid off are going to be landscapers. You know, they're getting laid off from their good jobs. Uh, and then suddenly you have everybody and their brother that's a landscaper. Um, so it's important, especially if you want to charge a premium price that you deliver a premium service. So, you know, we really want to get ahead of that. We want to do what's right for our customers. We want to do what they pay us to do. And we want to make sure that we get that under control and we get our quality where it needs to be um, because that affects everything. That affects our attrition rate. It affects how fast we grow. It just affects a lot. It affects what price we can charge. Um, so, you know, that's currently our issues. Uh, you know, cash flow, uh, quality. Uh, like I said, we're very fortunate as far as labor. We've got pretty good team i could use especially if we start selling a lot of work uh with these door hangers we're doing i could use one more um but we are good in the meantime if, if we need to make it work um i do see the bad times coming guys i've been talking about it for a while uh in fact one of my neighbors uh, came over to me he's in the construction industry he sells uh sells windows and he was you know coming over to me talking about the fact that he's uh, been out of work for the last couple weeks and uh, you know, I, you know, I knew this was coming. I knew there was a slowdown. I know it's already slowed down a lot in lots of parts of the country, but, uh, you know, there's going to be a huge ripple effect when these, uh, when this big real estate bubble and this construction bubble, uh, grinds to a halt. You know, these are millions of people like my neighbor that are, uh, their livelihoods are revolving around a booming real estate market and building thousands of homes a day. And when that stops, and it's coming to a stop in a lot of places, you know, that's going to affect uh, those millions of lives and, you know, a lot of other industries revolving around it. And, uh, you know, that's when we get back into a situation, uh, you know, in 2008 to 2012, 14, where, you know, you get people that are used to making 50, 75 or 100 grand a year, and they're, you know, scrambling to get thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a year jobs. Um, it's unfortunate, but it's just the cycle of things. Uh, you know, the good thing about it, like I've talked about for all of us, is that, you know, it's going to free up a lot of good talent like my neighbor who are good people. They're hard workers uh, that, you know, but they've been, you know, they've been working in good jobs, making good money more than what we can pay them. You know, I think a lot of that talent is going to get freed up again. And, uh, you know, a lot of these employees that we've had to settle for, you know, they, they'll be sitting at home and, uh, you know, those people, those good workers that now need to support their families will be, uh, taking their places. But anyway, I'd love to, to hear what the struggles, uh, that you have going on with your business. Uh, you know, leave them in the comments below. Um, but that's currently what's going on with us. Um, you know, things are, things are good overall. We're very blessed, but you know, you always got to stay on your game. Uh, you always got to, you know, try to be better and better. And, you know, we make mistakes and we constantly learn from them. Uh, but thanks for watching. Have a great day.